Ten years ago, Seventh Wolf was the most hyped freshman in U.S. high school basketball. Moving on, his college career didn't quite go the way he expected. Now he's rediscovering himself here in Cork, where he's leading Blue Demons in the Cup Final in Ireland this Saturday. I spoke to Seventh about what this sort of journey has been like for him, making it back in basketball. Obviously, you had a huge game the last day against Neptune. Like, tell us about sort of that, that game, what it was like for you to be playing in that sort of moment. Um, for me, it was a huge game. The environment out there was tremendous. Um, but what, what kind of got us through that game is the week before we kind of played the exact same game, but the roles were reversed. So uh, the week before we were up going to halftime, they came back, chopped the lead down, and ended up winning in overtime. So the way the game went, we were down halftime, and that kind of gave us all the motivation to, that we could still pull it out. And first half, I didn't hit too many shots. But second half, I seen a couple go through the basket. Try to get my teammates involved as much as possible. I had good things happen for me out there. So. And Samuel, so I know a lot of people watching this because they'll look for your name on YouTube. And I'll be really asking this question: How did you end up in Cork? Um, I had back surgery uh, two years ago after my last college season. I um, didn't have much opportunity, to be honest with you. Um, so guys wanted to see if I could still play with the back surgery, so I had to come somewhere where I can get an play and be able to play at the highest potential. So this was pretty much the only option I had. And, and so tell me about how you even heard about Demons, like how they ended up hearing about you, the connection. Um, it's actually crazy. Danny, our head coach, his wife is a huge North Carolina fan. So oh, wow. I'm a huge Tar Heel fan. You know, I played for the Tar Heels. So yeah. um, once I became available, she kind of pretty much made Danny come get me. So shout out to Jody Black for that one. <laughs> that's like, I was going to say, that's the sort of thing I wouldn't have known. Like, you know, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So like, because obviously you're used to living in very different places. Like, I know you grew up in South Carolina. Yeah. You obviously lived in Chapel Hill for a while. Yeah. You had your time in Maryland, wasn't it? With Baltimore, Maryland, yeah. It, so it was Baltimore, didn't yeah. you Baltimore. So very different cities. What's it like living in Cork? Um, it's not too much difference. I'm not from a guy like me. I'm more of a laid back type of just gym home type guy. So just that's all it's been for me going from gym to the house and walk around the city a little much, but the scenery is nice, so it's, it's a great transition being in court, honestly. And I was like, with this team, you've been able to have a role where you have heavy minutes, you're a key focus of the offense yeah. and defensively as well. Yeah. Like for you, after obviously all what you went through, yeah. what's it like to be rediscovering that within yourself as a player? Uh, exactly what you said, I got to re rediscover it, honestly. Um, it, took a, it took them a while. Um, they were on me about being more aggressive, and I was just like, some of the shots I can take now, the freedom I have now, I would have been snatched out of games in college. So I, it definitely took some more getting used to, but now like we, we're at the peak of the season, I feel great. So. And like, even like watching that Neptune game when I was down here a week and a half ago, like the difference in the player I saw in the first half and the second half, it was like you discovered that confidence you needed in the, in the locker room. Yeah, uh, we just needed a win, honestly. We needed a huge win, man. A lot of people, it's crazy, a lot of people talk about the second half. I didn't even realize it was that much different for me until I went back and watched it. So, um, like I say, just the atmosphere, all the adrenaline rushing, man, we had to get a win. I had to do whatever we, I needed to do to get us that win. And, uh, like, I so was looking at Saturday Coven. You're going to be playing, it's going to be nationally televised in Ireland. Yeah. It'll be available around the world to watch as well. And so, like, looking at that, for you, this is probably the biggest profile game you've had in quite a while. Mm -hmm. What's that mean to you as a player? Um, I'm not going to say it's just another game, but that's kind of the mentality you have to have. Um, I played in huge games. This would be just another huge game for me. And like you said, it's national televised. I know what it means to everyone around Ireland. So trying to get a win for everybody around here, just put myself in history books out here. So looking uh, forward to it. I mean, you're hoping like that this season with Demons can help you move on to another level in Europe next yeah, year? For sure, yeah. And have you been able to have any discussions on that yet? Or? Uh, not too many, just trying to focus on the task in front of me right now, getting through this season healthy and successful and just go from there. Um, like for you, because obviously this is your second chance really at success, because yeah. things didn't work out, although getting winning a natty, even if it's on the bench, is still amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like just so we're clear. Uh, like, but for you, like, you know, you're still a very young guy. You still yeah. a lot of basketball left in you. Is that what you were trying to show on Saturday night that You've got a lot of basketball left and you can contribute to a championship team. Most definitely, most definitely. Uh, just go out there and show that I can still compete at a high level, the highest level possible. And like I said, just trying to prove myself and prove everybody else wrong. So. And, and obviously, like, you know, you were very, very young when most of the world, the basketball world, heard about you. Yeah. If there's any advice you can go back to the 14 year old seventh and say about what's going to happen, <laughs> what would you say to him, man? Uh, the advice I would give a 14 year old version of myself would be. Uh, just keep a closed circle, you know, listen to people that you trust rather than just everybody on the internet and stuff like that. And 
Um, I always trust your work, you know, trust your work. Don't ever rely on what, I guess, analysts or people are expecting you to do on the court. Just trust that you put in the work and just keep your head up and move forward. I thought that might ties into how you end up with Jeeves, because it was someone you trusted who reached out to you yeah. and just got you over, right? Yeah, pretty much so, yeah. And I suppose lastly, like, you know, for people who are tuning in on Saturday, what can they expect to see from you and the Demons, man? Um, a lot of smiles. Um, I think a couple of the last games we kind of got out, got beside ourselves, kind of got a lot of commotion on the court. So just going out there, for me, going out there, have fun, putting my best foot forward, leaving all on the court, diving on the floor, taking hits, man, trying to do whatever I can to do to come back to court with a win. With and actually, there's one last non-basketball question that I've been curious about ever since I first heard of you. What? My name. Yes. <laughs> you I could tell you straight away. Yeah. So uh, where is the name Seventh originate from with your family? Uh, it's creation of the earth. Um, God finished his work in seven days, and on the seventh day he rested and made holy. So my name is Seventh Devante, like Seventh Day. Ah. So, yeah. so, so you remember to chill that one of the family then with a name like that, I'm guessing, if it's Seventh Day God rested. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's where it comes from. I knew that was a question. I knew it was coming. That would be the first question, but I mean, dude, <laughs> it's one of those badass basketball names I've ever heard in my life. Thanks. Best of luck on Saturday, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank Cheers. You so appreciate much. it. That was Seventh Woods, 10 years on from fame, but still with a goal to make it in this sport. If you haven't already, please subscribe.